Maybe I'm hearing a bell ring, like a church bell, like a tower bell, like a, it's an on, it's like the hour and there's a giant bell ringing. And it's, I hate to say it, but it's kind of foreboding. Like it's not a pleasant sound, which usually me personally, I enjoy a, a church bell, you know, when it rings on the hour. But this one's kind of like, mm, I don't like it. This is so weird. Okay, so hearing the bell ring, which has to do with time, rings on the hour or the half an hour. And now I'm seeing a clock, like an analog clock with, with the hands. And it's spinning backwards like really fast okay so the analog clock is spinning backwards 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 like really really fast and then it starts to slow down and then it got to the hour and I believe it's one o'clock and the goddamn bell starts ringing again and it's like it's like not a nice sound <laughs> So when things start to happen like this, this is usually um, not a, a spirit that's coming through. Um, it's either a memory or a past life. Because I'm seeing it like I'm watching a movie. And that's not how I receive messages from the spirit. So I'm going to dive a little deeper here and see where this takes me and see what this is. There's a person, there's two people. They're outside on a street and it's really cold. And they pretty much have like on rags. It's a woman and it's her child. The woman is like aged beyond her years. She looks really old, but she's not. And the child is a girl who's probably a teenager and they're sick and they're hungry and they're freezing. It's like one o'clock in the morning. And if I had to guess where I was, I would say that I'm in England somewhere. And if I had to guess a time period, it's like middle ages, it's like medieval times, but, but almost at the end, like, uh, like 1400s, like the Renaissance is coming, but it hasn't come yet. So if I'm seeing these two people, most likely you were one of them. And I don't know which one you feel more drawn to, the mother or the child. I can tell you what the mother's feeling and thinking. She's like, she's completely at a loss. She's completely lost all hope. And she just really can't believe that she can't do anything else to save her daughter. But the daughter is still hopeful. 
and I don't feel like she's as sick as the mother is and she still thinks that they're gonna be okay but unfortunately I don't think either one of them are gonna be okay so this is like an awful awful life very traumatic very discouraging and there's some kind of lesson here about losing hope and being hopeful that I think we're going to have to pull a card for. So I'm going to pull myself back now. Late 1400s would be the end of the Black Death period in London. Mm -hmm. I feel like I resonate with the daughter more. Not what I thought coming into the reading. Me neither, Gibby. Me neither. I think we need to pull a card here. I'm going to pull one of these spiral oracle cards because these are pretty weird and woo-woo and I feel like we need a weird woo-woo card to help us understand this crazy trip we just went on. <laughs> and we will ask, we will ask the following question. What the hell? Why did Gibby see this today? Why did we experience this? Oh, interesting. This is your card. Children of Light. Holy crap. So, Gibby, I find it really interesting that you said you felt like you resonated more with the daughter. And look at this card. It's Children of Light. And there's a woman, there's a girl on it with this flower that's like lit up. And everything is blue. And it's dark. And it's like, exactly, Gilded Imp, it matches the freaking thing that I saw. It's dark. It looks like nighttime. It's cold. There's an old person. <laughs> There's an old person here. There's a young woman here. There's this light that's glowing inside of her that she's like passing on to this flower. That the flower is like the hope. Wow. Okay, let's read the card. My childhood was marked by events that connected me with diverse knowledge. I experienced depths of pain and joy. A day was a lifetime where imagery, games, and surprises guided me. As an adult, I have forgotten many things, sometimes even how to connect with and listen to my true nature. My true nature lets me know it is still there, resonating, hidden somewhere in my chest. The time has come for me to find myself in every child, in every young person, with care and love. I feel their beat of life in me. I open the way for us to create a world together in unbounded imagination. There is inherent wisdom in every child, simplicity of living and true laughter. Every child is my sweetest mirror. There is a silver lining in every teenager's rebellion, change, and courage. A seed needs simple elements to grow. Water, earth, air, sun, and love. That is what I sow today. Simplicity. I return to the simple. Through my generous and innocent spirit, I ask myself, What is my greatest fear? What is my magical desire? By observing my fears, I take them out of dark spaces, and thus they no longer prevail. Now I create spaces for others to grow. For me to grow, I enjoy the simple things again. I recover my capacity for wonderment. Everything is renewed and fills my spaces with magical energy. Hmm. And she's hopeful. Yes. <laughs> she's hopeful for everything. She's willing to face her fears. Take them out of the dark spaces. And find the wisdom and the love and the joy 
in childhood and children within their within her own childhood and her own memories and create spaces for new growth with magical energy let's not forget <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I feel like there is a bazillion things to unpack from the past life vision the card and like how they're connected and how they're intertwined and like what it means to you and what resonates for you and what it means in your current life and if there's residual things left over from that life as far as like trauma goes like there's just there's entirely too much to unpack here i think what it what it really what we can really boil it all down to was that what one of the things that i wrote down was hopefulness no one of the things i wrote down was hopelessness hopelessness versus hopefulness like the church bell was foreboding to the mother but hopeful to the daughter hopelessness versus hopefulness and you said you felt like you resonated with the daughter who was hopeful and the card is the girl who's hopeful she's hopeful to the point of being magical enough to bring light to the darkness and give space for things to grow I don't even I don't even know but it's magical it's all freaking magical sounds like generational trauma like the mother is always looking at the bad things and the daughter's like wait look at this look at this I agree Darth I agree mm -hmm.